And it is Retro Sunday once again, and today we are doing a throwback review of the Transformers Generations Power of the Primes Deluxe Class Autobot Jazz. Now back in 2018, I had already sold off my Jazz figure. I did a review of, a review of it uh, a couple years ago, but I sold it off because frankly, I never really understood why Jazz was a combiner or was a power master or something like that. So I decided, you know, I, I just stick with my Reveal the Shield Jazz and just get rid of this. Another year and a couple months later, I decided to sell off my um, Reveal the Shield Jazz and I was stuck with no Jazz figure <laughs> whatsoever. So I decided last Christmas to repurchase this Power of the Primes Jazz on clearance. And originally this figure was priced at $20. It was going for retail and then it was sold out everywhere. And then I repurchased it at another hobby shop that was selling it on clearance for about $12. So I thought that was pretty okay. So today we are unboxing him and doing another review. So we got the instruction sheet, we got the card right there. He's got the blaster. Everything seems to be intact. Now, despite being released under the Power of the Primes line, uh, this figure is actually a combiner. And here he is in his limb mode, particularly the foot mode or leg mode. And I've attached the foot accessory that came with Power of the Primes Grimlock. And here he is in arm mode using the actual accessory that he came with and here is jazz in his alt mode it doesn't exactly look like the one we saw in g1 that's why part of my disappointment with this figure was that i wish they would have made him more like his g1 uh, alt mode counterpart but i'm pretty sure earthrise is going to change all of that now you can of course add uh, the accessories you can mount them on him in alt mode, but It doesn't really work for me. I, I don't know. I, I like him better without his accessories and Looking absolutely very sharp in The absence of an actual oh. Cybertron trilogy jazz this will have to do for the meantime still hoping we get that Earthrise though So to transform him uh, Do it this way Attach the feet Open this, that, open this, that, that, feet, okay, uh, this one, okay, and then open up this, bend this, and then pull down the abdomen piece, the head sculpt, and then you want to Bring everything down and attach that chest part onto that midsection. And here we go. There you go. There is Jazz in robot mode. You can put his weapons on like this. And you can, as part of the Power of the Primes lineup, you can attach this accessory that he came with. You can attach any of the Prime Masters onto that cavity and use it. Uh, as an as a form of like armor or power-up gimmick or all that doesn't really do anything I mean, it's just for aesthetic value You put him like that to me honestly. This is a waste of accessories. Uh, I, I don't know Why they did that main concern with this particular mode this robot mode again the likeness to g1 arms legs Torso great even the head sculpt is absolutely wonderful, but he is missing the signature wings Those are supposed to be the doors of his alt mode And I'm pretty sure Hasbro is gonna reboot this figure into something more akin to that But absolutely gorgeous really really nice. I got lucky with this figure everything seems to be intact As for the joints there is some looseness on mine, uh, but not entirely a deal breaker. And so some final thoughts on this figure. Here he is with the rest of the class of 1984 with uh, Trailbreaker and Sunstreaker missing. And I'm still hoping we're going to get everyone in Earthrise format. And until we get 
a jazz figure from the War for Cybertron trilogy line. The Power of the Primes jazz will have to do it for me for my Autobots and my Generations collections. Uh, it's still a great figure. Do you still have it? Did you sell it? Did you buy it on clearance? Let me know in the comments. And as always, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. If it's your first time on this channel, please subscribe. All right, if you're wondering throughout the video why my thumb was acting a little bit funky and I wasn't using it a lot of times, it's because there is a cut. I've actually almost sliced off a big chunk of my thumb right there. I was able to thankfully put that piece of skin back and sort of repair the wound and control the bleeding. Now, how did that happen? Well, I was preparing my wife's daily meals and I was about to wash my knife. Not this knife, obviously. I'm just using it for demonstration purposes, my chef's knife. And I was so excited because they put out a new uh, scrubbing pad, a, a, a new sponge. <laughs> I got so excited and I completely ignored two essential rules, personal rules that I have with dealing with knives. One is respect the knife and it will respect you. The second is you never clean the knife on the sharp end. The sharp end always stays out. So I was in a hurry, I was cleaning it this way with the sponge and I kind of cut my hand, my thumb as I went through the blade like that. And it was dumb of me, it was so stupid and I'm, I apologize for getting injured before doing a review. So there you go, folks. Respect the knife and it will respect you and always clean the knife with the blade out.